Today in our 2016 Hyundai Elantra, we're going to show you how to install the Roadmaster Universal High Power Diode Wiring Kit. This is part number RM-154. Now what these diodes do, they allow us, one, to run two inputs to a single output, but this is also going to protect the system. We're not going to have any back feed, either going from our car back to our motorhome or from our motorhome into the car. It keeps them separated for us, so we don't have to worry about it. Now for our application today, we've taken the long roll of four pole wire. We've cut one of the ends off of it. And what we're gonna do, since we've already got the fascia off the car, we're gonna go ahead and get our wire routed here. That way we're not trying to get our hands in behind the fascia. If you're not pulling the fascia off, you're gonna have an underbody panel. We're gonna go under that. And that's gonna be your access point. So we'll go right through here with the wire. I'm just going to pull all the slack through. If you were uh, doing this without removing the fascia, you'd want to pull that underbody panel and then you could slide your wire right up through here through the underside of the fascia and then should be able to get it over here and maneuvered properly. We're going to pull out the slack that we'll need. I'm going to tuck my wires right in behind that air dam. There's a little piece of foam on the back side of it we can tuck into. I'm just going to use a couple of zip ties and get it secured to our base plate. Now let's go ahead and get our wiring finished up here. Use a little bit of black tape just for that initial bit there. Kind of clean up the look a little bit. This probably would have been another one of those things easier to do with the fascia off. But I didn't know how much we were going to need so I didn't want to. And we'll bring in the bracket that we're going to use to attach our wiring here at the front. This came with our base plate from Roadmaster. It's kind of tough to get it to slide on there, but it will go. Then they provide you with a couple of self-tapping screws that we'll use to secure it right into the end of those wire mounting locations. All right, we're mounted, and we'll just take our cap right around the end, just like that. It gives us a nice clean look there on the front. Now, while we've still got our underbody panel off here, we're going to route our wire basically right back this direction. I want to have it up and supported, kind of like we talked about initially there. You can see even if it gets pulled on, we won't have to worry about it hitting any of our moving parts, any sharp edges, anything like that. And then right back here at this rear control arm mount, I'm going to hop right over the top of it to where we can go right out right back here. Now anywhere we can along through here, we want to anchor it off. Now the next thing we're going to do in our wiring process is get a couple pull cables put down so when we do get our wiring back here, we're going to be able to pull it up to us. We need to take out our tail lights. So we want to pop open the covers on the back side. Then we're going to have one, two, and three 10 millimeter headed nuts to remove. Try not to drop them. If you do, you'll have to pull that panel to get them out. It's not the end of the world, but And with those three out, we should just be able to kind of gently pull backwards. Then we got a little retainer clip right here that holds our wiring bundle in. Pop that off. And then just twist and remove the three bulbs. Just like that. Now we'll set our taillights aside somewhere safe. I'm just going to drop our we're using airline tubing, you can use coat hanger, loose wire, whatever you've got around. I'm just going to tuck it down in there so it'll be there when we need it. Tuck the other end in one of those holes and you won't have to worry about it falling through. We'll do that on the driver's side here and also on the passenger side. Now we're going to separate the white wire from the main four pole wire. We'll just pull down on it and that clear plastic sheeting will pull right off. 
Then we can run our remaining green, yellow, and brown wire over the panel here under the car. Nice and easy, it should come out of the back side and we'll be closer to where we need to go. We're gonna ground out right to our frame here. We'll have protection. We won't have to worry about anything dragging across and catching it. Right there into the sides. So what we'll do is just trim off our excess. Now, you will wanna hang on to your excess white wire. We might need it to make our jumper wire to go from the passenger side over to the driver's side. Strip back the end there. Going to use the provided ring terminal. Slide that down on and crimp it into place. And then we're going to use a self-tapping screw right into our frame there. Give us a good ground point. Once we've got our screw started, bring our wire up. get it secured just like that. Now after coming out of that panel, kind of joined in with the non-moving portion of that parking brake cable. Now we're going to split our wires again. We're going to separate the yellow one from the middle of the green and the brown. Pull them apart there. Now we'll take our yellow wire that we just separated and I'm going to run it across this rear uh, oh, like a drag axle. I like that cover being there. That'll protect it and keep it up off the ground. Tuck it right up in there. Then I'm going to go right up to the brake line you see above it there. Put some slack in it. We'll anchor it out. Use that brake line to support it. And we'll just let it hang out here for now. We've got another wire coming over from the passenger side and we'll pull it and the yellow wire up behind the taillight housing at the same time. Now from that intersection where we took our yellow wire off we ran our green and brown wire up here to the brake line and around the back side of our shock mount there again to our brake line then we tucked in right behind that side panel now we've got it coming right out here. That coming out where we want it, let's pull our fish wire down and we can tape the brown and green wire off to it and we'll pull it up. And you see we just pull that cable, our wire is going to come up through, just kind of guide it from the bottom as we do. Now what we want to do is just make a small slit in the grommet that our wiring comes through. And we'll pass both the green and the brown through that to the inside of the car. Go ahead and pull that through. I'm going to put a little bit of slack in it so it hangs down. There's not a lot of room behind the, uh, the taillights, between the taillights and the body. That's why we're going to put our diodes inside. Just zip tie it there so we don't have to worry about it pulling back down through. And then let's test our wires behind our tail light to figure out what our circuits are. We want to find our blinker and our stop signal and we also want to find our running light signal. Now what I want to do here on this pigtail is just kind of split it without hurting my wire. You can see them underneath there. First thing we want to do is grab our test light, connect it to a good ground source, and we'll have them turn on the running lights in the vehicle. Now with those on, let's run the test and see which one we're getting a constant power flow from. And lights off, and back on. All right, so the green wire here is going to be for our running lights. It's on the passenger side, so let's write that down. Next, we'll have them turn on the passenger side blinker. All right, and that signal we're getting from our yellow wire. And now go ahead and hit the brakes. All right, now we figured out that our red wire is going to be for our brake, and that lights up a clear bulb behind a red lens. So we're going to be using that for both our brake and for our blinker. We're going to tie the green wire directly into it using our diode here. What we want to do is just split our wire, strip both ends of that back. Then we'll leave a little bit of excess green wire 
but then we're going to snip that off and strip the end of it as well. Now we'll use one of our diodes. It has the three blue spade connector terminals on it. Pull those off. We're going to add one to each of our wires that we just stripped off. With those connected properly, let's turn our attention to our green wire now. This is going to be for our running lights. And we'll do that exact same thing with one small exception. The difference is going to be here on our brown wire. When we cut that, we want to strip both ends off. The one that I've cut off, that goes to our tag end, our loose end, our extra wire. I'm going to poke that right back in that same grommet we brought our other ones in. Take both of our brown wires and let's twist those together. That's where we're going to use the diode that's got the yellow one as well as two blues. Now the blues, they're going to go on our factory wiring, green and green. The yellow, it goes on our double brown wire. What this allows us to do is we can run that excess wire that we just passed in over behind the driver's side tail light so we can get running light signal to both sides here. Now I'm going to take my two diodes and I'm going to pull the, the cover off that tape that's on the back side there. I'm going to stick them together with the double ends facing the same direction. Just like that. Now our green wire is for our running light, so we'll run that in. And our brown wire is for our running lights, so that's going to run in. The red wire coming from our factory plug there will go in our other diode. And then our blinker and brake wire, the green wire, that's going to go in the same one as the red wire. And we'll plug out to our light. The red's going to go in the same one that the red wire is plugged in the inside and the green wire will go to the same one, the wire's plugged in the green. Now we're going to be tucking those right down here, kind of out of the way. But what we'll want to do is wrap them up with a little bit of electrical tape to keep them from making any noise if they get jostled around a little bit while we're heading down the road. You can see Hyundai had the same idea with that plug. Just kind of putting a little foam on it to just keep everything nice and quiet. Now just kind of position that down out of the way there. Then we can clip our cover closed on this side and replace our taillight lens. Now you remember the brown wire that we connected in double. We're going to take the end of that, run it down behind the bumper here. That way we can grab it from the underside. Then we can get our bulbs put back in the taillight housing here. Put those back on. We'll line up that little front tab there. Slide the housing back into position and replace the three nuts on the back side to hold it in place. Alright, that'll take care of our driver's side here. Let's head on around to the passenger side and get it taken care of there. We ought to be able to see that brown wire we passed down. If you can't see it, kind of reach just up this direction here and you'll be able to find it there. And we're going to bring this over to our driver's side. See these bumper mounts or the fascia hangers, whatever you want to call them. Good area to kind of run it in behind. That way it won't ever come down on us. And that one, there's a third one right here pretty close to that panel. Um, it may be easier to remove that panel for you if you're fighting it. Just a couple push pin fasteners and a couple nuts you can take it down. Now we'll take our yellow wire, which we routed over, and let's poke that right over there towards that brown wire. Well, that's not exactly where we wanted to come out, but that's all right. We'll go there, and then we'll go forward. All right, now we're getting somewhere. And we're also going to reach up in and pull down our pool cable. That's the one we put down on our passenger side. Now we'll take both our yellow wire and our brown wire. 
tape it onto that airline tubing, coat hanger, stiff wire, whatever you use to run down there. And like before, we're going to pull on our fish cable while we kind of feed our wires up in from the bottom. Pull out all the slack that we've got. We're going to do the exact same thing here on the driver's side that we did on the passenger side with the exception of our brown wire is just going to be a single this time with a blue spade connector. What we're going to do is, since we're only doing two wires here, we're going to try to slide them through that same grommet there. There we go. That worked out good. Just like that. Remember we want a little bit of slack in them. Since we've got them in our hand, let's go ahead and strip them back. We've confirmed that on this side, the wires are the same as they were on the other side. So for our turn signal and for our brake, which is our yellow wire, that's going to be going to the red wire. And then the brown wire, that's again going to the green wire. So let's get these cut and stripped. And then we'll add one of our blue spade connectors to all six of our wires. That's the one difference coming to this side. Then the other side, we don't have the yellow spade connector. And our yellow wire replaces our green wire for that side. All right, now let's grab our diodes and just like before, get them stuck together. Put the red and the one on the bottom, the green on the top. So that means our yellow is going to go to the one on the bottom. Our brown's going to go to the one on the top. And our green out to our bulb. To the top, and the red out to our bulb on the bottom. Now let's get this side taped up, keep it looking nice. And once we've got that wrapped up, just like before, tuck it down out of the way, pop our cover closed, and put our tail light back in. We'll thread our nuts back on the back side of this one. Then once we get them snug down, we'll test out the system, make sure everything's working the way it should. Now to test out our wiring, we're going to use our jumper, pull our cap here on the front of the car and plug that in. And then when I hit the left or right blinker in the car, it should have that signal in the back. We hit our brakes, we should see it. If we hit our running lights, we should see it. All right, now first thing first, let's turn on the running lights, make sure they work properly. Now with those working, we'll try our left side blinker. Now our right side blinker, and followed up with the brakes. All right, perfect. Everything's working as it should. That's going to complete today's installation of the Roadmaster High Power Diode Kit, part number RM-154 on our 2016 Hyundai Elantra.